All right, guys, you'll have to bear with me on the setup. Uh, no, it's not ideal, but I don't have the tripod with me today. I actually forgot on my car. A little bit limited on time, so let's take a look at three really nice snakes that we hashed out this season. So you can see this first animal we have here, very orange. I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds to guess what this animal is. All right, you've made your guesses, I guess. Um, this right here is a super chocolate banana. So really not all that complicated. You got chocolate in there twice and banana. So a super chocolate is obviously a very dark animal. And I've actually said this previously in videos, but for myself, and I know a couple of you feel this way as well, when you throw banana to the darker morphs, you make some really cool things because the blacks tend to become purplish and the uh, the brown, the darker the brown it is, the more uh, orangey the animal will often be rather than being yellow. So <clears throat> this animal here has yet to have its first shed, which is kind of lame. Can't really show you uh, how cool this thing is gonna end up looking unless of course we hatch the second this year, which I'm going to show you right now. So you could see the difference from when uh, the animal will shed. I got the next animal coming out of the bin here onto my leg, so let me just put that away for now. So here, we could get a look at the two side by side and you could see the comparison. Now the one I just put in that has gone through the shed is actually Het Hypo. So you know, typically your head hypos are going to look regular or how they normally would look. You know, there's not really any indicator that they're head, hy <clears throat> head hypos. So, uh, I do believe that this animal will look exactly like this one once it's shed out. But you could see what I was talking about when I said, you know, the darker the animal is, once that black is re uh, replaced with purple, it just looks phenomenal. And you could see um, there's actually... Like, whoa, Jesus. If we take her here in my hand, and hopefully she doesn't bite us too hard, then again, when they're this big, it doesn't really hurt at all. But you could see the orange going on on her face and head is actually a little bit different from the orange that's going on throughout her body. But I mean, you know, that pastel purple on this animal is simply incredible. Um,. Obviously, this one will be a keeper with it being head hypo, especially the fact that we got a, a second one. And there she is, trying to come out. Let's get her back in there. But let's actually, you know, kind of really appreciate what's going on here with those amazing colors. Fantastic looking animal. Very angry animal, but you know, that's typical when they're young. They're very scared, very nervous, but as they grow up, they'll calm down. Typically, this is nice to see too. Um, when they're this willing to bite, it's a little bit easier to get them to feed their fir on their first meal. So let's actually look at the next animal. And the next animal, believe it or not, while it is an upgrade, it kind of looks like a downgrade. I want to get this one in there without having the other accidentally bite it. And you know, I'll just take this one out for two seconds just because it's not wanting to cooperate at all. Uh, you know what? Let's let's manage. Let's see what we could do with this Cloverfield type of filming going on here. Sorry about that, guys. Won't forget the tripod next time. So you can see we put in our third and final snake in there. It's actually the exact same thing. It is a super chocolate banana head hypo. It's the clutch mate of the animal I had just taken out. But this one has pastel in it. And you can see basically when you throw uh, pastel to banana, it tends to actually worsen them, in my opinion. It, again, it's going to really depend on what you like. But in my opinion, you know, it dulls out the animal. You can see this one, the contrast is out of this world. 
you know, both of these snake want to be out of this tub right now. I don't know about out of this world. But, yeah, you could see the two side by side. And, I mean, if, to me, it, it, it's clear which one is uh, physically more attractive to the eye. And that is the super chocolate without the pastel banana. But really excited this was actually one of the very first clutches of the season so really uh neat to hit uh such cool animals in your first one of your first clutches of the season you know typically your big clutches um if they're towards the end you know there's a lot of anticipation you kind of go through all season like you know wondering if you're going to hit what you want to get and this we got a really nice early gift so hope you guys appreciate the video sorry they're moving so much and I can't seem to, you know, steady my hand when it comes to filming, but hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, catch the next one. We got a lot more cool animals to show you, and not just ball pythons. Uh, tons of other cool stuff. Green tree pythons, Amazon tree bows, angolans, womas, and uh, even some stuff for you lizard people out there. Thanks, and take care.